Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my Illumicrate box for the month of October. So let's go ahead and open it up. So this is the box. And this month's theme was Fairytale Forest. And so here's the spoiler card and everything. All right, so the first thing on top is this little thing. So that's where you have no idea what it is, but it is pretty big. So this item here is inspired by the last tale of the Flower Bride, and this is actually a dust mat, which is an item I never received before in a subscription box, so that's actually pretty cool. And I love the color. Um, the design of this is so pretty. I actually really love this item. I think it's so nicely designed, and it's so beautiful. Um, so if I ever get, like, because I feel like now, like, for my desk, everything had to be, like, purple so I can match this. But this is so pretty. I really love this. Um, but I'm not going to be using it for now, but I do like it. It is pretty, and I'll probably use it eventually once I have, like, a whole setup for the, my desk and everything. But, yeah, this is really, really pretty, and I love the design and the color. The purple is so beautiful. So I'm very really happy with that. The next thing inside here is a little black pouch and I think this month they said there's going to be a solar replica and as you can see you have a lot of them from Lumicare already. Um, so let's take this out. So here is the solar replica. It is very, very pretty. I really like it. It's simple but very, very nice. I really like this but I have no idea what's inspired by so let's go ahead and find out here so this is a replica from the crow prince and i guess it's called the nightfall i never read the crow prince before so i wouldn't know but yeah this is very pretty and i really really like it so i'm happy to add this to my collection of <laughs> replicas so the next item we have are some page tabs right here for annotating which is really really cool so i do like it and these are inspired by bitter thorn i have no plans on reading that book to be honest but i do like this i love annotating my book so i definitely want to be using this um the only issue though is that there are very very few page tabs like i don't think there are that many like there there's probably like only like maybe 10 of each so that's just a little disappointing, but I do love that there's a lot of them and there's a lot of different colors. So yeah, I just wish there was a lot more, but I do like these. Okay, so now we just have our last item before the actual um, book. Um, so yeah, so far I'm really liking this box. So right here we have a notebook. This one is a little different from most notebooks we received in the past this is like a square notebook which i do actually like it's very very nice and it says for finding dreams that don't exist yet and this is inspired by once upon a dream so i really love that and i love the color of this it's so pretty um so let's go ahead and open it here so yeah it is a dotted page here so i do love this and i can't wait to use it i think i'm gonna be putting in here like upcoming um releases for next year so you keep that organized um and just probably some reviews of it once i read it next year um so yeah i really love this notebook this is so pretty and this is my first like actual like square notebook and i'm glad that it's dotted too because i love dotted um books so yeah i'm really happy with this item this is really really cool so now we just have the actual book, and that is After the Forest by Kel Woods. I like the cover. It's very, very pretty, and I love the falling on it. It's really, really nice. Then we have the spine there, and we have the back right there. So I never heard of this book, but it looks so pretty. On the top, we just have green sprayed edges, the same on the bottom there. And then the regular main edge right there is so pretty. I love it. I think it's really, really nice. I love that there's a little bear in the middle there. I think that's really, really cute. And there's an acorn and just a whole bunch of like 
trees and leaves so i think that's really really pretty um i'm very happy with the edges there and the cover it's very very nice i'm not sure if it's a color change or if it's just like the original and they just added foil lean on it but it's very very pretty um also lumen Creed has been doing a lot of these like short size book instead of their like i feel like i feel like last year a lot of their books were like pretty tall and now this year they're like a whole bunch of them are pretty short um but yeah it is published by titan books and i'm pretty sure all their books are this size unless i could be mistaken but yeah very pretty so let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket here there's nothing on the reversible side of that the naked hardback is actually really, really pretty as well. So we have like a printed naked hardback with some gold folding on it. And I think that's really, really pretty. The spine here is also very pretty with the folding and then really nothing much on the back side. But yeah, very, very stunning. And then we have the end pages. Um, so we have these. It's nice, but it's not my favorite. I don't know. I just wish there was more color to be honest instead of just that but then we have the back one they are different so I do love that but again I just wish it was like fully colored instead of just like brownish but like I feel like I get it kind of on why they went to that direction but yeah I just would have wish it was just fully colored and there's a letter from the author inside here so that's really cool. I like when they bound in author letters. I really like that. And there's no signature. So yeah, that's basically it for um, the Lumen Crate October box. Um, I'm pretty happy with this whole box. I love all of the items um, and the book is very, very pretty. So I'm very happy. Let me know your thoughts on the actual book here and the items. Um, I feel like before Lumen Crate and Fairy Loot, I wasn't really liking their boxes, but I feel like the past few months they've been doing it really, really good. So I'm really excited to see the rest of the year for their boxes and next year. But I'm actually very excited for next month because I know next month we have another mug from Rosie, Rosie Thorns. And I love Lumen Crate mugs. Um, they're always so pretty. So. I can't wait. But yeah, this is a October Lumen Crate box. I'm really happy with everything. Uh, make sure to like, comment below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.